Hello everyone. I am Dr. Mohit Sani. Welcome to NEFCO, Neonatal Focus Eco Academy platform. On this platform, we bring small presentations every week to update you on neonatal hemodynamics and echo. At NEFCO Academy, we provide hybrid, online and physical hands-on training of neonatal echoes. Kindly contact on the given contact details that is running, scrolling. Kindly subscribe and like the channel. For more details, please see the description. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. We are here today to discuss very important topic regarding the legal aspects before we procure or buy echo machine in our neonatal ICU, pediatric ICU or the adult ICU. And yes, because now more and more exposure is being there. So it is a burning question nowadays. Before we buy our machine in an ICU, even after taking some kind of uh, course, so we always get scared from procuring the machine because of this PCPMDT Act. This is a legal thing to buy and get the name registered to the machine in India. Is it so scary? We'll just see, but actually it is not. So before we procure the echo machine in our units, in our NICU, what are the questions that come to our mind? Number one, can we replace pediatric cardiologist? The answer is no. Until unless you are a trained certified pediatric cardiologist, you cannot comment upon the uh, congenital heart diseases if you have any abnormal heart disease. Can I buy echo machine and start doing an echo without any certification? The answer to this again is no, we cannot. Because to do legally, to do echo on the machine in NICU, you have to be registered with that machine. And as per the PCPNDT Act, to get your name registered to a particular machine, you have to have a minimum qualification. So what is that minimum qualification to procure the echo machine as a neonatologist, as a pediatric intensivist or adult intensivist? That is six months of course training at some recognized place. Then you can have that certification and get your name registered at PCP entity act and against that machine. In India, there is the minimum requirement. Okay. So who can get registered without a course, like natural, with, a, with your just postgraduate, which degrees you can get the name registered in PCP and DT Act in, in your machine, and you can procure the machine. If you have done post-graduation in MD, Opskiny, radio diagnosis, or if you have done any fellowship, re recognized fellowships, DM or DNB in cardiology. Otherwise, you need to have six month minimum training course at a recognized place, for ultrasonography and echo. Otherwise, you can use the machine which is being registered in the name of your radiologist or a cardiologist in your unit. And you, can, you cannot give the legal reports, but you can use it to supplement your clinical decisions for the treatment of your patient in, in your ICUs, NICU, adult ICU, or the pediatric ICU. What the people and organizations in India have been trying uh, for the timing is to incorporate this functional echo or TN echo, whatever we call this curriculum in the DM, DNB, neonatology programs or neonatal fellowship programs, so that as it has been done in MD radio diagnosis and MD ops and gynae, automatically that criteria is fulfilled. Still, that guidelines has to be formulated. And we, you can see in this uh, slide that there are two countries which have formally introduced these programs in their curriculum, Australia and Canada. I was fortunate to be a part of the first batch in both these countries in Australia in 2007, in Canada 2009, to get formally uh, trained in these programs. At that time, when I started, was this was six months course in Australia, and this one was one year. And as you can see, similarly, we want to start something like 
FNPU, whatever we may call, but still it is not minimum of six months so that we can uh, automatically register our name in P uh, PCP and DT against the machine. In India, it is must. In these two countries, it is not. There are different criteria for this. Still, that criteria has to be formulated in India. And uh, people have been trying for it. So till then, it has to be specialized courses at recognized places. So the NEFCO may be a platform for you to uh, get trained if you're interested in um, online physical or hybrid courses in Unitelic course. So I, I again request people who are interested, they can contact on the given contact in the description, or you can visit and like our or follow our Insta page. You can get the description, the details on that. Thank you for watching. Again, I would request to subscribe, like the video, subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.